Allergy experts this morning are warning of a pollen tsunami. That doesn't sound fun. It's only adding to the downside of spring for the roughly 50 million Americans with nasal allergies. One of the biggest pollen hot zones in the country spans the Northeast. Jerika Duncan is right in the middle of it in the misery in New York's Central Park. Jerika, good morning. Good morning, Gail. In fact, this area where we're standing has a very high pollen concentration, and it's only expected to increase throughout the week. The culprit for all of this pollen, the trees. Blooming flowers and budding branches mean spring is in the air, and so is the pollen. It's everywhere, collecting in thick clumps on the ground and coating cars. Dr. Clifford Bassett, medical director of Allergy and Asthma Care of New York, says there's so much pollen, even people who have never had allergies are suffering. This particular season, we've been bombarded with phone calls from people experiencing allergy symptoms the very first time. And not only allergies, but allergy, pollen triggered asthma, wheezing. People in their 50s and 60s and beyond never had it before. Normally, trees release their pollen in early spring. But the long, brutal winter delayed that until now, when other plants and grasses are just starting to release theirs. For allergy sufferers, it's a perfect pollen storm. Right now we have birch, oak, maple palm in the northeast. Very prevalent. If you're sensitive to those tree pollens, you're going to feel miserable. And it's not just the northeast. Pollen counts in most of the country are at medium to high levels. Roxanne Bortreger lives in Tulsa, Oklahoma. She says she recently suffered one of the worst allergy attacks she's ever had. I was miserable. I was hurting and full of allergies and I couldn't talk. I couldn't breathe. Unfortunately for people with allergies, relief may not come anytime soon. A Rutgers researcher says climate change is causing allergy seasons to start earlier and last longer and that by 2040, pollen counts will be more than twice the levels they were in 2000. No matter where you are, whether you're in a city, town, suburbs, pollens are here to stay. They're rising. You need to be ready for this pollen storm and have a game plan in place. Now, there are some things you can do to lessen the severity of symptoms, like wear sunglasses when you're outside. Make sure you wash your face and your eyes before you go to sleep so the pollen doesn't get in your bedding. And of course, when all else fails, call the doctor. Nora? Jerika, good advice. Yeah. You, Charlie, you have a little tickle in your throat, but you don't a, a think it's... A little cold becoming, yeah. Yeah. Where'd you get I that cold it, from? I think I got it from her last week. Oh, don't so, you? Something you want to share, you two? Yeah. Next time we'll take a break from kissing when I've got a cold. <laughs> yes, Sorry about that. Right. <laughs> okay. yes. Knock it off. You should have told me. I know. <laughs>